Oh yeah, Diddy got a podcast. There's only seven principles a person should be governing themselves by. We've maxed out marching. We've maxed out protesting. We've maxed out. Oh, you're going to hurt a things. lot of people feelings, man. My mama just turned 74 this year. My mama marched and prayed and sang, we shall overcome. I can't afford to have my children inheriting my failure as a nation of people. But this is what we satisfy. But what we don't know is we commit high treason when we do protesting. That's why you can get ran over in the street and nobody sacrificed for it in law. That's why you can be killed and nobody's being held accountable for it. We commit high treason. Your constitution says you shall not rise up against your government. But we're doing that. And we don't understand why you can't get justice. Because you have said as a citizen, not as the proper status in law, you've placed yourself under your state. So the state and the state's mind is saying, how dare you turn against me when I've given you this? But we don't read the constitutions. This little book I've had since I was in elementary school, we've long stopped reading this. We got a greater responsibility, but we don't want that responsibility. And the government knows you don't want these responsibilities. So what the government do, they treat you as a minor under law. And a minor can't say nothing against his parent. It can say something. It can buck. Won't hold no weight. Mm -mm. We're the only nation of people that, and now, while we have these extremists, left or right, but they are so-called white people, some of them understand that, hell, we have been lumped in with these people of color. And now they're trying to fight back for their government. And I, people need to really be aware. I beg this question. Has the Civil War really ended? Has the Civil War really ended? If people that look like you and I get out of the way, we would probably see people like that that love Trump and represent what they think he represents. And you'll see people that look like Biden. And what Biden represents, you might see them clash again if you and I get out the way. So this what the civil what are you getting at? Like I'm I'm not sure I follow. I don't know if I've ever heard that question asked. Has the Civil War really ended? Um, what they They're trying to say a Civil War could be the, re-emerging. The, um, the, you've heard that said? Yeah. Okay. So the Antifa, these are the ones that's against the alt-right, right? Okay. So Allegedly. Allegedly. We don't know these yeah. things. I mean, yeah. I'm still looking at it and just smiling at myself on the inside. So if you got the Antifa over here and you got the alt-right over here, these folks still mad about what? But it really, i seen a video clip. It, it has nothing to do with... Um, a so-called black man in America if we get out the way because I believe the, the fight may still be is who can control these people? Who can control these people of color? Is it going to be the Antifa or the alt-right? And the South, of course, if we research the history, if we look at the history, you know, some of the question in these uh, high halls of academia is what were the causes of uh, the Civil War? Was it the North was losing um, wealth due to free labor that the South had? Which, of course, that was an issue with the Three-Fifth Missouri Compromise in 1830, something like that. I don't know the exact year where the South was trying to, again, get these mass electoral college votes. But, you know, you had to understand the South had millions of slaves. And how were these supposed to be counted? But the issue is that you can't count your property as human beings because we weren't considered human beings at that particular time. So it took three people that look like you and I to equal one European slave master. So that was the process of the electoral colleges being worked in at that time. So again, was the free labor of the South, was that a, um, one of the triggers for the Civil War? The, the North had lost all of this industry and free labor. The South was getting rich off cotton and people that looked like you and I. Could that be re-emerging? I don't know. These are questions I ask myself. So. And I, 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 it, it visualizes itself in these elections. See, they'll pander for you and not a vote. But after they've achieved that by getting our vote, what do we get? What do you get? Because tomorrow we're going to be seeing another video footage of a man being killed, maybe crying for his mama again. We may see another teenage boy that's doing something you and I did playing with a little pop gun and may get killed. We may lose another woman that's in her car. God forbid that happened. What this country is doing, they are violating all the rules of engagement. In war, you don't mess with the women and children. 
The United States have killed women and children of ours, and we ain't doing nothing but praying and marching and asking for them to give us free what I'm going to start saying. Amazing movie. We're, I, I believe the people of color, and this may not be um, popular, but I believe we are mentally sick and dead if we allow our women and children to be killed and nothing's happening, but we peacefully protesting. That's unnatural. I don't promote violence, but in natural law, you can kick a dog in the corner for so long and he'll even bite back. We're not there. We're not doing that, but we'll... Will we ever um, get there? Um, you think we'll ever get there, man? I, after all this we time... Shouldn't, this shouldn't even be a question to be had all right. in this civilized country, the best country of the free worlds. Um, there was an article where um, China had wanted to sanction the United States government for uh, crimes against humanity. The argument was the um, United States was pointing the finger at China, and China had the nerve to say, you have no room to say anybody's doing anything foul when you are killing a nation of people without mercy. That's us. The world is looking at us because the world, by all standards, is saying, you deserve that. If you are not prepared to defend your life, you deserve what you get. That's my thought. How, how can you argue? You can't argue with that. You can't argue with that sentiment because essentially that's, I mean, regardless of what religion you are, what's, what's, if you're spiritual, no matter where you grew up or how you, at the end of the day, you still got to protect yourself. And you can pray that's and you can march. Order of law, self-preservation. We are not prepared to preserve nothing. Our women, our children, our wealth. What wealth? That's another question. And what that's wealth? probably why you'll never have it because we haven't even been taught the science of business. 